Hello, this is Sente from Sente Theater Presents, talking to you about Grinding to Exalted with Ravenhold by Heavy Junkbox Farming. Rogues should have three talents available to them to make this easier. First, reduces any stealth detection that mobs may have in the instance. Second, is increasing your stealth speed by 15%, and the third will increase your movement speed overall. There are two minor glyphs that Rogues should pick up. First is a glyph of picklock, which will have instant lock picking available to you. Second is a glyph of pickpocket, which will increase the range of your pickpocket by 5 yards. Third step is our macros. This is a macro that every rogue should have, so that any homemade cherry pies, exotic cookbooks, roasted quail, or superior healing potions can be deleted so that you have more room for those precious lock boxes. Finally, we have some tips and tricks available. Set your hearthstone to Korgath for your mailbox. Engineers can use moly. Avoid any campfires because they will take you out of stealth. The optimal path will always have you pickpocketed in this instance. Dragon King cannot be pickpocketed. This should yield more heavy junk boxes than Tears Hand alone. Your mileage may vary. Finally, do not reset the instance unless the mobs were killed and you're currently in Korgath. I started this run with a fresh inventory, which means I have no heavy chunk boxes currently in my possession. I'm going around, pickpocketing all the mobs, making sure that I avoid any campfires to make sure that I'm continuing stealth. One option you can do here is instead of continuing to lobers right away, just go to the first room of Upper Black Rock Spire. There are some mobs in there that can be pickpocketed. One of the best parts about doing farming here in Lord Black Rock Spire is that I don't have any competing rogues like you would see in Tyr's Hand, and the lack of stealth detecting mobs that you would usually see in other instances such as BRD. this hallway, you can turn to the left and continue to do loops through lower Black Rock Spire, collecting heavy junk boxes. This run took approximately 14 minutes, which resulted in 28 heavy junk boxes, which roughly equates to 120 per hour.